Chan, how problematic is a stronger dollar? We've seen dollar at some pretty extreme uh, levels. You only have to look at uh, euro-dollar parity uh, uh, recently. Mm -hmm. How problematic is that going to be for our region, especially emerging markets, and especially the risk of uh, currency depreciation here and outflows? Yeah. I think, in fact, I would say the currency depression is happening, you know, across the region. And one of the things you do see that yen actually is under significant pressure there. Um, so I would definitely say the currency depression, depreciation actually is one of the consideration for the central banks. Um, and that's why I think, you know, outside of Japan and uh, uh, China, actually, you do see some of other EM uh, Asian central banks are trying to, you know, probably accelerate their, um, you know, tightening. Uh, not just because of rising inflation pressure, but also because of this uh, capital outflow concern and also uh, currency uh, depreciation uh, consideration. Chan, when you look at Sri Lanka, that is perhaps an extreme example in our region of a debt crisis and uh, economic crisis. But do you fear that inflation, if it does remain entrenched, this could be a shape of things to come for indebted frontier and emerging market sovereigns? Well, I mean, I, I have to say the Sri Lanka crisis does not happen overnight, right? It was, you know, started back in 2019 uh, due to the mismanagement of the economy, debt rising, and then fiscal discipline uh, start to weaken. And then, you know, the whole situation was exacerbated by the pandemic and, uh, and the Ukraine crisis and higher energy prices, right? So it does not happen overnight. I would say the majority of the, um, you know, larger economy in this region, they probably look fine at this moment because of their better institution standard and also macro fundamental. Um, now, if you see anybody that's kind of having similar challenge, uh, I would say some of the peripheral, um, you know, EM Asia countries, including Pakistan, is probably the bigger one. Um, you know, uh, that level there is high. Uh, inflation is over 20 percent. And then the FX reserve coverage is low. Um, but I think a silver lining of, uh, for Pakistan is that they actually are right now actively talking to IMF, trying to uh, find a bilateral or multilateral uh, funding yeah. arrangement to, to bring their some kind of uh, bridge funding. Right. So in that case, they can probably avoid that restructuring if they can get their act, uh, you know, uh, come up pretty soon.